What's up YouTube? DJ Cracker here with part two of my tutorial on building your own home recording studio. Now, today we're going to talk about the components of a basic home recording studio. Now, first thing you're going to need for any home recording studio is a computer. Now, basically you're going to want a dual core with a minimum of 4 gigs of RAM. Next, you're going to want a USB audio interface. Now, when it comes to USB audio interfaces, there are literally hundreds of choices out there on the market ranging anywhere from twenty dollars up to the thousands of dollars now there's two things you want to look for when choosing your audio interface one you're going to, want to look for XLR inputs for your microphones two you're going to, want to look for phantom power for condenser microphones now next you're going to need a microphone Now, there are two types of microphones out there the most common type is a dynamic microphone which is what you'll see people using on stages and for performances, comedy shows, anything where somebody's using a microphone for a live performance. Now the other type is a condenser mic. Condenser mics are generally used in studios and have much richer, fuller sound quality. They also require the phantom power, which is why I said to look for phantom power and XLR inputs on your USB audio interface for using a condenser microphone. Now. If you plan on making beats in your studio as well as recording, you're going to want to consider a MIDI controller. Now, once again, like the USB audio interface, there are literally hundreds of MIDI controllers out there. They range anywhere from $30 up to the tens of thousands of dollars. Now, for the most part, you're going to want something simple like this, just something that you can hit a button and hear what sound you're working with. Now, if you're an accomplished pianist, musician of some sort, you're going to make want something like this, a full-size MIDI keyboard controller. But for the most part, something simple like this will do just fine. Now, let's hook it all up. Now, the first thing you want to do is install your drivers. And uh, once you get your drivers installed, let's we'll start hooking up equipment here. First, we're going to hook up our audio interface. We'll plug our first USB cable into the USB audio interface. We'll take the other end, plug it into a free USB port on the computer. Next we're going to take the male end of our XLR cable and plug it into one of the free XLR ports on the USB audio interface and we'll take the female end plug it into our microphone now we're all ready to use our USB audio interface for recording now the last thing we're going to take our other USB cable here plug it into our MIDI controller. Take the other end, plug it into another free USB port on the computer. Now we're ready for software. So, join me in the next tutorial when we cover software, installation, and setup. So, thanks for watching YouTube. I'm DJ Cracker. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.